Now this is an interesting little pocket gun. This is an Asterix Cub. It's made in Spain in 22 short. And this is the same uh, gun as the Colt Jr. automatic pistol. Matter of fact, it is exactly the same gun except for the markings. Astra made them for Colt. And the Colt uh, Jr. was uh, discontinued uh, when uh, the 1968 Gun Control Act uh, prevented the importation of them. I believe later on they went ahead and uh, imported the parts and assembled them uh, in the United States and uh, made some more of them after that. So I'm not sure just when this one was made, but it would have been imported before 1968. And it's an interesting little pocket gun. Most guns this size were made in 25 ACP, but this one was in 22 short. It's a little bitty cartridge, but uh, it still uh, packs uh, more uh, power than you would think. These little mouse guns, they often say that they were uh, about right for scratching the paint off car doors, but. Uh, Still, I don't believe anybody would like to be shot with one of them. It would not be a pleasant experience. And it's uh, got the magazine release button here. Six shot magazine. The safety is kind of awkward. Right now the safety is on fire. There it's on safe. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to, unless you've got large, long fingers, it's hard to operate. You'd probably be better off operating the safety with your off hand. Otherwise, you'd have to shift your grip. As you can see there, it will not fire unless the safety is down. The safety would have, if they could have put it up here, it would have been a lot simpler. But um, a lot of European guns were made kind of strange like that, at least by the standards we're used to anyway. And since it is a rim fire, I don't want to snap the hammer down on the firing pin. Dry fire and a rim fire is not a good idea. It's hard on the firing pin. This, this little gun is not perfect condition. It's seen some use, but still in pretty good shape. It's got a uh, few marks on it here and there and a little wear. And it shoots about as good as any of these little pocket guns ever do. They were not designed for any kind of range. They were made for up close and personal. Well, you know, just a... Uh, save your life type little pocket gun it does work flawlessly though let's see I don't know how well those markings will show up the sights are basically useless on it you just look over the top of it uh, it does have sights, but like I said, they're just the next best thing to useless. The best way to do it is just uh, point and shoot. But it is from an era when they still uh, made things out of solid steel. Nicely machined. Like I said, this one's not perfect condition, but originally it had a very nice finish on it. And it's still pretty good for its age. And I just thought I'd give you a quick look at it. If you notice up here, there's your uh, safety, and it also locks the slide there. But. Uh, Draw it back and then put it up there. Also is your uh, lock back for your slide also. 
and it does have it has no um, uh, lock open on the last shot a lot of uh, small uh, guns didn't it does have the magazine safety though it will not fire unless the magazine is inserted and that was something that was, is also very uh, common among European uh, type guns European made guns and I really don't know a, a whole lot about the Astra pistols but they did make them for a long uh, a lot of different models they made them for a long time and they only went out of business uh, oh, like 15 years ago and they had a lot more modern models of guns than this but uh, mainly uh, this one attracted my attention when I seen it in a gun shop uh, some years ago just because it was uh, exactly the same as a Colt uh, Junior and a lot less expensive and at the time I thought well, why not I just picked it up and haven't really had much of uh, haven't shot it a whole lot you know these little guns you don't shoot a whole lot but it is fun to take out once in a while and see if you can hit anything with it and as I said, I just figured I'd give you a quick look at it. Uh, thanks for watching.